Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, uh, after Canada stopped this SDS process, a lot of people or a lot of international prospective international students, future international students are asking, should we now come to Canada or not? Like there is some sort of uncertainty in their mind. And I do understand that based on recent cuts, based on recent changes, a lot of them are actually worried or I mean, they are not able to take decision. So related to this topic, I'm making this video just want to clarify neither I'm a government uh, uh, body nor I'm a uh, nor I'm an immigration consultant. So if you take anything out of this, you do it at your own risk. So in my opinion, it's not that you should not come to Canada as an international student. You can still come, but you need to do proper research. Few things. The very first thing I would say is have the plan B ready. Because if you see the announcements by the federal government, they are in mood to cut temporary residents, right? So that means down the line, getting permits, permanent permits, like from temporary to permanent and from uh, given, uh, even getting the temporary permit to study is going to be more difficult. We are already seeing that, right? Now they have announced cuts to, or not cut, changes to visitor visa planning too. So that is the case. Second, when you're taking a course here in Canada, now not all courses are eligible for postgraduate work permit. So plan very carefully. Just you are getting an admission offer from a particular college in Canada doesn't mean uh, you are going to get postgraduate work permit or PR right, later on if eligible. Instead, do your own research. Don't go by what people say. Don't go by other agents. Say. Don't go by those who had come here earlier and achieved this or that. It's okay. Fine. But you need to understand the current situation and act accordingly. It's very important. Then, uh, so take your course very seriously and do your en enough research. Because, like, uh, if you go by it, in certain sectors, like healthcare, there is a severe shortage of resources. So if you get any good course in healthcare from a good and reputed institution, I think it's really worth doing it. Because that's the sector the government really need people. They are struggling to find qualified people. So if I get a course in that field, I'll take. But on the other hand, if I take a field where job, job numbers are very thin, why would I go into that field when I have an option to select something else? Third, I would say prepare for your finances. I know the government of Canada has increased the GIC requirement, but believe me, guys, when you come here, you are going to get the shock because living here is much more expensive. Many things that you don't uh, find in GIC. Housing. Yeah, for housing, now some correction may happen. Already we are seeing now that after many years, rental uh, growth has, uh, price grow has gone into negatives. And and that and there's an every opportunity it will be like down the line because now temporary residents like before are not coming in because of the reduction in the numbers. So that point is there. But yes, apart from that, like everything is really very expensive here in Canada, and you must have proper financial backup in order to survive in this country. So make sure you have it, okay, before you plan to come over here. This is really important. And then once you come, like, try to make a network before you even come here so that you get some help in finding a part-time job. Like, but see, having a part-time job is definitely going to help you. But you must not breach conditions because government is, like, in the mood of reducing uh, temp residents. So don't do anything that make you in trouble so if you consider these points in uh, mind definitely you are gonna do better and uh, things will be better for you but again like have plan b ready because in case you don't get yourself settled in canada what other because most of the people i know those who had gone to usa many years ago as, a, as an international student they had the plan b in case they don't get a work permit in case they have to come back so have this plan ready as well that that you have some uh, thing in your mind that you are going to do in case this does not work out. 
So if you do this, this will be beneficial to you. Thanks for watching this. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.